The village of Bristol, Vermont was built on the huge flat surface of a glacial delta. The delta was built 13,000 years ago as the Laurentide Ice Sheet retreated to the north and the Champlain Valley was filled with a lake up to an elevation of about 600 feet, the elevation of the top of the delta today. The growing village never even filled up the deltaic surface, and the Mount Abraham High School was built at the distal margin in the 1960s. In 1889, George Norris imagined what Bristol would look like from a thousand feet above the New Haven River, and published a lithograph of his bird's eye map. It is one of 135 aerial views he drew of different towns. The layout of the town was based on existing maps, but his perspective on Hogback Mountain in the background is not too realistic. He couldn't have known in 1889 what it would actually look like from up there, and didn't show that you'd be able to see the Green Mountains beyond Hogback Ridge. He obviously based his view of the mountain on sketches made from the ground in the open fields where the high school is today. This is the vantage from where Hogback Mountain is the skyline, and Mount Abraham lines up as it does in his lithograph. So, there'll be no exact recreating Norris's image with a modern aerial photo. But a photo from halfway between his ground vantage and his imagined aerial vantage, maybe about right here, might be a good compromise. On October 30, 2015, I launched a fled kite from the high school soccer field with a Canon PowerShot S100 hanging from the line. The camera has a GPS receiver and recorded the coordinates with each photo. It was taking a photo every three seconds. 1,200 photos were taken during the one-hour flight, and these colored traces are those GPS coordinates. The kite itself was always about 150 feet higher than the camera. The red trace represents most of the flight, and the green trace is while I was hauling in the kite at the end. To get the kite as far south as possible, I walked to where the little blue man is. That's when the little piece of blue trace was made. Those are the data from 25 consecutive photos, and 23 of them got stitched together into a panorama. The stitching was really good, so I thought the camera would have moved a lot less than that in 75 seconds, but I guess the subject was far enough away to reduce parallax errors. The town grid will look different than from Norris's vantage, which was quite a bit farther south, but the view from this intermediate vantage sort of resembles the original. The camera was on a Saturn V rig, which was pointing in a different direction for each photo in the cycle of 25 photos. So I was able to stitch together a 360 degree panorama of the whole scene. This is my favorite result, and makes me really glad it's not 1889.